All right, on today's episode of TJ Builds Random Garbage, this is a uh, socket I just made for uh, working with Unistrut. I'm an electrician by trade, and uh, we do a lot of things with Unistrut. And uh, between the customers that we have and um, the hardware we get sent out, we usually end up end up with half inch hardware, which out, works out good with slotted strut. But if you have to bolt it through like this, versus uh, coming up top and having a square washer, you can't get a wrench in there if you're on anything but the end. And even when you get a wrench on the end, you can get like maybe an eighth of a turn, and you're boxed in. Well, <clears throat> dun da da, custom socket. This was a uh, 7 16 deep wall, half inch drive socket, and uh, I don't know, maybe somebody uses them, but not me. I mean, you get about bust off quarter inch hardware, so uh, if you needed to wreck it out that bad, just break it off. Forget, don't worry about getting the impact on it. Anyway, never used this socket. It was just random, laying around in my box of random impact sockets, and uh so I've been building a lot of this stuff, and I ended up had a Penta wrench that's, you know, Penta on one side, and it's three-quarter on the other. Well, this got sacrificed so I could actually use it, but the ratch ratcheting mechanism on this for actually working all day kind of sucks. It's fine if you're just opening up switch gear, but other than that, not my favorite. So anyway, took the, I, had to, I needed to tighten some stuff down, so I cut this socket down one day and uh, probably still a hair deep for getting in here because it's got the bottom half of the socket. You know, it sucks if, the, if you actually got a lock washer and a regular washer on it, you're still fighting it in there. Well, to the rescue is this guy. This is just the piece that was cut off that socket. You know, I had to build up the 7 16 and then I, uh, after I built it up and welded it on, I uh, kind of sanded it down just through the socket on the end of the drill so I could spin it. Took it over to uh, the flap disc and made all sorts of fun. So that's how that got turned down because damn I wish I had a lathe. But anyway, now that that's turned down, slides in nice and easy even if it's got a washer and a lock washer on it. You can get in there. Of course I'm knocking everything over. You can actually get in there, and even if you're not on the end, you know, you still got to slide it in from the end. I'm probably making you guys seasick, but uh, you can actually get the socket in there and on it, tighten it down. Everybody's happy. But uh, yeah, I don't know if you can even buy them, if anybody makes them, but this is what I did to uh, solve that problem. Another thing I made. Hope this helps somebody. If you like it, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you made your own. If you do make your own, if you figure out a better way, I'm always interested to hear better stuff. Because uh, work smarter, not harder. Later.